We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking. Sly Cooper and the gang in. Dead men tell no tales. Welcome everybody to one of my favorite parts in this game. I love this episode in the pirates and the, you know, the little ship and the adventure. There are some parts when I was a kid that really struggled with me and I'll get to that when we get there. But let's go ahead and select Sly and do, see what we got here in the Caribbean Sea. Black Spot Pete has retired and is living here in town. I'll mark this place with a waypoint. Now, if you listen to the music, it does sound just like the Pirates of the Caribbean, which is, I, li I really like that. Or, um, actually, it also could be considered, like, National Treasure, or, you know, that has that type of, like, or even, like, honestly, Skyrim uses that type of music, but they got it from that, I suppose. But I love that kind of music. I think it's really cool, like, instrumental. But, um, later on in the episode, when you're looking for, like, treasure, and you have to take steps in certain directions, I could not beat that when I was a kid. I don't know why. I ended I ended up doing it fine. I'm just as you can see I'm just running recklessly through this place. But uh talk of the pirates. This is one of my favorite parts when you gotta outwit or out uh, talk the captain. And I love it. I don't know if this I don't think we do it yet or whatever. And maybe we do, I don't know. But uh I love that and this little douchebag just hit me off, so now I gotta climb up here again. How do I get up there easily dead gummit but you can't say the exact same thing twice which is I don't know why but when I was young I loved it I thought it was so cool I was I, I was really good at it at one point I would out talk I would just go back to that one mission and try to beat it again but let's go ahead and start it off there he is black spot Pete. I didn't think pirates could get that old thought scurvy would get him or something don't lower your guard for an instant all pirates are killers, plain as that, and they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Do we have to put a pirate costume? No, we don't. Okay. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I, But I won't chatter with the likes of you on so blessed a subject. Get out of my sight, landlubber! For my years, I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me partner. Can't tank on a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whore lover. I'll cork it with me cutlass. Hard on the tonsils, I assure you.
Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that your cantankerous Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Oh, I thought he said maybe. So Not maybe. About monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Technically, we could just let him see us and then chase us. What? These are talkies? Private dogs. Three what is he doing up there? Cursed primates. Coming behind us? Yeah. What? Oh crap, this is actually the last episode before the actual finale of actually going to the Super Bowl. If you didn't know that or not. Oh. There we go. He disappeared, but somehow it flew up and we got the eye patch. That's how slidings work. <laughs> I remember like there's like separate places you got to go on the ship or whatever and I remember I remember that you have to uh, Sneak with well Murray expert paddling or whatever and paddle away through like cannons and stuff and you, you can like this is the best place to get gold in this whole game You can stack up so much to get skills. I'm just letting you know There's the second lieutenant you need to steal his peg leg peg leg seriously isn't that kind of harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I feel like a douche for doing this. Okay. Show me that. First? Okay. I swear I just walked into that. Alright, one down. No, he saw me! <laughs> Dang it, it was worth a try. Oh, where do I need to- No! I, I just want your peg to like- That is so mean, no. I don't care if he's a pirate. Oh my, holy crap, I am about to die. We can't let that happen. Please spit out a health packet the next person I kill. Oh god. Oh no. Nope, we didn't work. I need to get to high ground. No. All right, let's look here. Where is he? All right, I got this. I got this. I need that. I needed that. I had to risk it. I love how they just go on with their business, even though they, you know they're still out there. How did I get it? What? That gum, I suck. All right. Okay, please take a left. I mean a right. Yeah, a right. That doesn't help my situation. Okay, he took a right. And then he turns around randomly. Why? I 
All right, we got this. Uh, should be just one more pool. Yeah, <laughs> it's so mean, but we got it. And then he disappears. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Where? Way up there? Okay. okay. Guess we're gonna climb up here. Oh, this is where you, is this where, I think this is the level, at least, where you duel somebody standing on one of these. If this is it, I love this. Ah, I know it. It's true. An agent of Pam's come for revenge. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. Oh, he's got his hat? Okay. It's not like you can find a pirate hat anywhere else. That's uncommon. <laughs> Uh, and, and the freaking bird's so old that you should be able to take it anyway. By you should be able to fool him with ease. I don't think this is the mission. We would have already done it, I think. Like that, oh no, I was already dead, coming. I was already close to death. I was wondering how did that kill me in one hit. I know you're gonna run this way. I am, he's going that way! <gasps> See, I just hit him, and apparently that doesn't do anything. Uh, it's more like he's chasing me now. Come on. Come this way. Basically, I, went, I wish you could just go and drop this on him. I don't remember where he goes after this part. It's so like right there. Like, bam, drop it. Oh, it even disables the button, so you can't do that. Avast. Who's chasing me now? It won't take me. That's okay, it doesn't matter. I, I have plenty of health. Alright, I gotta start looking out for that. Alright, there's an anchor. Stop running away. I thought pirates were supposed to be like aggressive and fight. <laughs> oh, that was close. No, I'm right behind him! This is so gay. I hate this. When are we gonna get to the good part of this level? I've been talking about the pirate level like the whole time. This is my favorite episode. I love this one, and I love the Black Baron episode. And then I get here, and I can't do anything right, and I'm just gonna play ahead, because I know you... It should let you go wherever you want. I'm really hoping I can get done by this LP before Sly Thieves time, uh, because that would be kind of sucky if I couldn't, mainly because I promise I would, and I still think I will. The only issue is what if I something comes up, like something has been coming up, that's why I've been able to record. Now I finally got a day. I'm exhausted too, I didn't really want to, but, uh, you know. Sometimes, I mean, YouTube isn't always where you always want to mix an episode, at least it's not for me. I love recording. It's all getting me long. I love these video games, I love these classics, I love new releases, and I love everything I do right here. But, some days, you know, you need to still put out, you know, a video, because your viewers will like watch it. And you might have... Shoot. No. No. No! I'm cutting. No, I'm not. Because I'm on a rant. <laughs> not really. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate this stinking thing, man. Guy. You said you wanted fails. And you jinxed me. You're getting them. But, um... Some days, you know, you're just like tired or like, say you have, you have a friend over or something and you, I still, I sometimes record when a friend's over. I'm like, I make him go out of the room or just sit there and be quiet so I can record. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like, normally I record my videos in mass like sections, like 
I'll probably do like three videos or, or so today so I can get till Friday because Wednesday I'm gone Thursday I'm normally free but not always Monday I'm gone my big recording days are Tuesday and Thursday every other day I'm gone and then the weekend so and apparently I went too far and so we're here again hopefully I can manage to get this yes what do you know all right, now stay with him. We should be nearing the end. I had to go. I was that close every time. Oh, never mind. I run right past him. I thought I was at the end. Of him. This is right. I remember this part. Hopefully, I remember to cut this, or this is gonna be very awkward. Avast there! You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. I got a pirate hat. Excellent. You. Boom. Got the full cantankerous Tim disguise. Head on back to black. Like we didn't even have gloves and. Uh, you know, a nice little pirate shirt and everything, but apparently that just comes out of nowhere. And Bentley has that all in his gear. And we're going to pirate talk. I'm not saving that for the next episode. I love that ep this part of the game. We are pirate talking. A vast me, matey. Cantankerous Tim! You're back, you two-faced Calloway! Aye, matey. And not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon-faced toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Oh, you brainless, knuckle-dragging anchorhead! You're a brainless, knuckle-dragging anchorhead! That'd be true enough, but you're a cricket-sized, barnacle-backed piece of filth! You're a pig-breathed, cross-eyed, piece-waste of skin! Oh, yeah? You're a pig breath. Cross eyed, wake stop skin. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a. Sheep brain, yellow bellied, sack of maggots. Well, you're stupid. <laughs> Seaweed slurping, cabin boy. You are a. Stupid. Seaweed slurping cabin boy. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a pinheaded, toothless bag of vomit. He already said toothless. I no, I didn't. I was about to. You're an idiotic duck build cow pie. You're a idiotic duck build cow pie. That'd be true enough, but you're. Blathering, twisted, swabber. Well, last off, you're a pirate or parrot loving, gr a grog abusing, whale fart. You're a parrot loving, grog abusing, whale fart. Ha ha! Cantankerous Tim, it must be you to give this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Ramey Lousteau fella. 
'Twas a good hole, that. I speak of it while drunk. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lord. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the Seven Seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map, and your death as well. If you go for the treasure ship, mate, you go alone. Missy Ferranti is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Good job, Sly. <laughs> <laughs>